welcome back. We shall now enter Soros Subworld. And we can go back to the Sapiens Mountain if we want. Let's go to the Frostfire Bridge right now. What are we going to have? Well, it does look like frost up here. And down below, it looks like there's going to be a lot of lava. I gotta wonder, are we going to alternate between Kud and Luigi in this world? I wouldn't be surprised if we could. And thanks to holding the jump button, I was able to go a little bit higher even after getting frozen. Oh, fire. It looks like there might be a tiny bit of snow on these platforms right here. Because Kud's shoes are sinking into the ground a little bit. Probably the little snow that there is. Although, because this is frost fire, I don't know how it's still there. And at the same time, I gotta wonder if there's going to be another part of this level which is going to be the inverse of this. We're walking on something really hot, but all around it, it's going to be freezing cold. Ah, stupid fireball going above the fire brother. I could use something in here, and there is something... a heart. Well, down here, another heart in case I needed it. Hmm, thwimps again. Ice thwimps, fire brothers. How come the ice thwimps are not melting? Eh. Maybe it's just a little bit of ice around a really rocky or aluminium thwimp. Hmm, okay, up. Looks like we're going really, really low now. And yet, there's still a little bit of snow on these platforms. How? Well, maybe it's really fresh snow, although... I don't know about that being the case. <sighs> and if it's not fresh, then... Synthetic? Now we're talking cruelty again. Pokies that are just a little bit too high to comfortably regular jump, but... <sighs> also too high to do a spin jump off of them. So, I guess damage is inevitable. Kud, why are you standing so close to the lava? Kinda stupid now, isn't it? Okay, King K. Vera. We'll go in here, and is it... Looks like it could be a boss fight. But not yet. We have something here first. Okay, and... Well, I guess some wall jumping will be necessary beyond that pipe. Something about the colors of the Koopas seems a little bit weird. I saw those faded red Koopas, but somehow... I get the feeling that they're not your typical red Koopa. And the yellow Koopas... I get the feeling they're not your typical yellow one. Aha! A white-shelled Koopa! Okay, the green-shelled Koopas, the ones that were jumping, well, they're normal. The white shell, I think it was, uh, like a red one. And these blue ones, I think they're also, like, red. Hmm. Can get a little bit confusing. Eh. At least it's not so confusing that it's going to be impossible to do this. The Thwomps may be a bit of trouble, though. And hopefully, shells don't somehow ricochet off the angles. I don't know why they would do that. Must be just the wrong pixel. Well, let's go up this pipe. And really slowly up this pipe, the sound effect seems to be a little bit weird. Back to these, faded red, the green. Okay, the yellow one, that's definitely a yellow. I recognize the wings and the speed. Well, bombs, I can definitely tell that they're bombs. If they looked like Koopas too, then Sorrow would be really, really mean. Hopefully you would feel sorry about it. Okay, there's a doorway right there, presumably the boss fight right after the halfway point, so it seems like it's going to be a really hard boss fight or a really late halfway point. 
and I take it it's gonna be a really late halfway point. Huh, especially compared to some of the other levels I played, and since this is a... Okay, there's another phase. That explains it. Now it makes a bit more sense. But still, get rid of it by regular jumping, and I don't even need to jump. Just needs to head up to me like any normal enemy. Ow. Thank you, invincibility frames. Well, now I can't jump on it. Gotta throw shells at it. Too bad I can't see the health anymore. Okay, so there's a message box here that says, uh, find the weak point in this enemy to destroy the tiny creature. Does that look like a tiny creature? Unless it's talking to Kavira itself to destroy Kood. Hey, stop throwing me backwards. It's the least helpful now. <sighs> okay, let's just remain ducked. Hmm. Well, I guess I've found somewhat of a blind spot, as long as I can keep from moving to the left or right. Just gotta wait for another skeleton. Jump on it and... One word for this boss fight, exploitable. <sighs> An easy blind spot, just face to the wall and throw the shell. Okay, more than four hits. Either way, should be slow, but a really easy boss fight. Okay, ow. Assuming you can control the shell correctly, okay. That's it, five hits. Boss defeated, the true darkness is closer. Ooh. Easy when you can figure out the pattern. At least for the first and third phases, not so much the second. Total carnage. Ooh. I think I know what to expect here. Okay, maybe the after effects of the carnage. Doesn't look like we see a lot of dead bodies, but we do see a lot of ghosts. Well, since it's Luigi's turn, at least we can double jump again. Okay, maybe the trees and the ground are absorbing a little bit of the results of the carnage. Because, huh, they're probably absorbing a bit of the blood. These ghosts here, are they enjoying a little bit of the carnage? Eating it or drinking it somehow? <sighs> drinking the blood, I guess? Well, they seem to be happy about it. <sighs> But I don't want them to be happy about it. I'm not going to let them take me. Or Kood. Just a little bit further, and we got the halfway point now. So, continue on, and it looks like things are going to get a little bit hotter and a little bit sharper. At some point, maybe a combination of both. Did I just... I heard a sound effect, and it sounded like the health meter. Maybe I gained a coin or lost... Or, sorry, maybe I gained one HP, maybe I lost it. So what's going to be inside that block that I saw? Eh, just a little bit of health. Whew. Well, I still haven't seen anything that's both sharp and fiery yet. I have seen sharp and hot. Well, supposedly hot, because... I don't know how the metal saws would be cool in this heat. Hmm. Uh, technology can find a way. Well, down and... Ow. Right into another ghost. Okay. It's a, li a little bit more sharp and hot and maybe fiery. The Bowser statues are probably what I was looking for. Okay, but we are out and cooed. Again, you should know better than standing right beside that lava. Well. What are we going to have next? Chasing Bones. Hmm. Chasing Bones. Okay, so we're going to have another boss fight at the end of this, I suspect. We could turn these into bones and chase them around. Of course, I'm not going to be the one to turn them into bones. Let the heat turn all these enemies into bones by melting their skin, their muscles, and everything. 
or anything else that they might have instead. And somehow turn the bombs into bones. Hmm. Eh, that probably won't happen. Okay, so... And eh, we're getting on a train again, a moving one. Whew, we have to struggle against the air. Jeez. It's really strong air now, is it? Really, really strong here. And probably not that comfortable because if we're in an area like this, it's probably going to be really, really hot. And that's no hot air. Well, let's keep running. Oh, and there's some bones, but we cannot chase them. Too bad. Eh. Well, into this pipe now. And the train is no longer moving. Gonna be anything inside this? We're not gonna have a hazard hidden in here, are we? Nope. You have a wagon of blocks to defeat the monster chasing bones. He's the great lord of this little train. Hit his head. Are we gonna have to fight it like a big boo? Um, possibly. Eh, maybe not. Okay, we can pick these up. It's taking us to the left. Uh, it says hit his head. Um, and the skulls are coming from the mouth. Can I throw this upwards? Well, that was a waste. That was a big waste. Okay, let's try it from the right instead. And I'm getting absolutely nothing done here. I hope we have no time limit to fighting this boss. Okay, let's go up. And... Ah, uh, now I shot it a bit too far. What the hell? What's going on? Why does it have to be like that? I'm still not hitting it! Really? Yes. Really. 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 Well, at least I'm doing a little bit of damage now. But I'm still not happy about it. Come on. <sighs> Add to the fact there's no halfway point in this level. Okay, two hits. I hope this thing takes just three hits. No, of course not. So let's deliver a fourth. <sighs> no more than five, please. Okay, five. Boss defeated, and the true darkness is closer. How does a boss fight I'm not going to miss at all? Next time... The Darkness of Death.